you know, my name is Paul and uh, I'm dealing with a situation with my bank, which is Citicorp, who since November has been promising me and many of their other people at the bank that have mortgages that they're going to modify loans. And, um, you know, and uh, so far I haven't heard any positive stories or I, and I haven't heard anything, um, you know, that, that leads me to believe that Citibank is really doing anything with the ballot money that the government has given them. Uh, I call them every two weeks. Uh, they keep telling me that I'm a perfect candidate. I sent them my W-2 forms and my, uh, I, I, sent them my uh, I sent them my tax forms for the last two years, along with my bank statements. And, um, you know, I truly believe that uh, I'm on the back burner. If I don't make a payment, I'll probably think things might move a little quicker. Um, you know, but it's very disconcerting. I bought my house in spring of 06, a five-year loan. Uh, I have a history of uh, the houses that I've bought, that every five to seven years, the price almost doubles. Um, the bank uh, and I had several discussions on a five-year versus a seven-year versus a 30-year. We all felt that a five-year would be the best loan because uh, I would either be selling the house in five years or if I was going to stay, uh, we would just get a new loan for 30 years. So I'm in a situation where I am a middle class uh, single father with two children. Um, my career on paper uh, appears to be quite successful. I'm an Emmy Award winning director. Um, you know, I wear jeans and a shirt and I drive a Jeep. I, I don't live a fancy life. And, um, and, uh, but I'm in a situation where I have no control over my house and over my home um, that I'm about to lose. And I know that there are people on the poverty line that are not doing as well as I am doing, um, that, uh, that are in much more dire needs and dire straits. But um, I do want to say that uh, the bank foreclosures uh, affects the middle class. It affects people like me. Uh, I have friends who have lost their homes, and uh, and I don't want to lose my home because it's where my children live and it's where I'm raising my two kids. Um, but as these five years are ticking by for my original loan, um, I have I, I can't write out the loan. It's it's not like I have thirty years. It's not like I can wait and pay my mortgage for the next six years until the market comes back. So I'm, I'm literally being forced out of my house. And um, from what I can tell, based on uh, the actions that Citibank is taking, which I don't believe they're taking any actions to help their mortgage holders, um, they really don't seem to care. The emotional toll that this has taken on me is tremendous. Um, I, I don't sleep. Um, uh, I cry uh, when I think about my children having to leave this house. This was a house that I bought after a divorce. Uh, and again, I'm a single dad and I raised my children here. And, you know, this was their place. This is their place. And um, it, it's our home. And it just devastates me to think that, um, that I'm going to have to uproot my family and, uh, you know, move into an apartment 